morning uh, all, to all of the Eclipse fans here from uh, Riga, the capital of uh, Latvia and the home of Air Baltic. Um, welcome you to our CS300 uh, flight to Heraklion today from Riga. Early morning, um, so you can see our eyes are maybe not really quite the, uh, the brightest, but uh, we'll get that uh, done in just a few minutes after a decent coffee and a good, uh, good uh, briefing. My name is Gerhard, I'm the captain on today's uh, flight to uh, Heraklion. Good morning from my side as well. My name is Lina, I'm first officer today's flight. So we've checked our, uh, we've checked our uh, stuff so far. The aircraft is good. Um, there are no items uh, on the aircraft itself. It's Charlie Stand 109. Um, we've checked the weather. Weather and route is fine. There are no specials so far. Um, the uh, the fuel we've got a uh, minimum block of uh, eight tons, uh, eight point one, yep. and um, no specials there either. We've got a short taxi out here. Nothing really to think uh, about too much. Um, my suggestion is eight uh, four. Yes, yeah, sounds good for me. Eight four is fine. Great. We'll order eight four, and. Um, Aircraft's ready. It's had its daily check just now, as we've discovered. Mm -hmm. um, so that all looks good. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that should basically be it. I'll put the fuel in. We'll brief the cabin crew, and then we'll get going. Yes, that's super. Good. Okay. Good morning to all of you. Today is my first training flight as a senior cabin crew on the sea service. Perfect, that's great. I'm the boss. You're the boss today. <laughs> Absolutely great. I love that. Super. Okay. Um, with you as the boss, um, I'll tell you what uh, we intend to do today. So, right. um, flight to Heraklion for us on Charlie. The aircraft um, had been changed overnight. It's had its daily check. The aircraft is absolutely fine. There are no items uh, for you in the cabin. Um, the uh, aircraft is on stand 109, and it came from Barcelona yesterday. Uh, flight times to Heraklion are uh, 3 hours and 15 both ways. With that, you can see there's not really any significant uh, tail or headwind, so we're quite fine. We've got a turnaround time in Heraklion uh, of one hour on ground. Uh, the temperature there this morning was 15 degrees, and um, that will develop, of course, until we, uh, we get there. It will be a little bit warmer. Um, and otherwise, no specials. The weather's actually really quite nice there. Mm, no specials for you in the cabin. We've got about uh, 50 million uh, people from uh, Airclips watching us so far. And um, so, uh, yeah, we've got uh, a lot of uh, nice people on board, so to say. Great, okay. Ready to go? Yes. Super. Let's have a good flight together. Thank you. Zero nine, right? Zero nine. One zero nine. I'm going to check the aircraft from the outside to make sure that everything is in place and uh, the aircraft is good for go. First of all, I will check the nose landing gear and then I can continue from the nose. On the landing gear, I just checked the tires, 
um, just that everything is in a place, the gear bin is not in a place anymore, it's taken out. And that's it. <coughs> then I will continue to check all the probes, the windshield, windshield wipers, they are all in good place, in good shape. I checked the lights there, the overall of the engine. coming uh, to the main gear again I check that the tires are okay the brakes are okay hydraulic pumps on the lines Coming from behind to the uh, left landing gear, the same things, tires, the brakes, and all looks good. On the wings I check that all the static fix are in places and also that the light is the navigation lights are working the left engine looks good as well And ending up in the nose again, so the aircraft looks good and is ready to go. some data Lena? I am yes. Perfect. Here we go. So uh, two five. So we've got a zero fuel weight of uh, five zero two zero two. Perfect. We've got the uh, zero fuel weight Mac at twenty nine point four. Perfect. Um, fuel is eight four. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, got a trim of. Yep. Okay. And take off weight over here is five eight five six one. Five eight and then five six one. Five six. That's one. fine. Great, and we've got hundred and forty one passengers. That is checked. And the trims? Three point five gives us three point five and that matches the load sheet. Perfect. That looks very good. Is there two fox number one ready? Cheers. 141, flight home is 3 hours and 15 minutes, you may close the doors. Fine, have a good flight, see you later on. 
Britt, dames en kongen, Tero Nelly Machines, kaptein is zeer snigges wetjes, Charlie Dumus, Heraklion, Parets en Wijs Lidium Leids, Tristone is een Piet Stes met min, ons is onpetsies, en Brizum is een Saxium Lidium, en Sterius Jutta Tieset is al wat zet, het is een Snowlium Spatikum Lidium, van de Espa Oosmanie. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen from the Flight Tech, your captain, a very warm welcome aboard this Air Flight, this Air Baltic flight to Heraklion. We are fully ready now, just closing the doors, get the engine started in a couple of minutes and uh, then we'll head off to Heraklion. The uh, flight I've estimated this morning is 3 hours and 15 minutes. Weather en route is nice, I'll give you a short update on the uh, weather conditions in Heraklion itself as soon as we start our descent. And up to then, I hope you find yourself comfortably seated, wish you a very pleasant stay on board and a nice flight with us. Thank you for your attention. Fine, we're done. Welcome on board on this Air Baltic Bombardier CS300. Now we need your full attention for the safety demonstration, even if you're a frequent flyer, just in case we must evacuate. There are six emergency exits on this airplane, in the front, in the center, and in the back. If you need to find the exit, just follow the light strips on the floor. For any additional safety information, you can check out the safety cards located in the seat pocket in front of you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for your attention and we wish you a pleasant flight with Air Baltic. Great, and then we can do a pre-flight checklist, please. Pre-flight checklist. Airplane documents. Are aboard it checked? Emergency equipment. It's checked. Yermins. On board. Overhead panel. So, overhead panel is... Checked. Flare shield. Flare shield is checked. Displays. Displays are checked. Ice detector test. Uh, yep, it's you've done the tests. It's complete. complete. Super. Circuit breakers. Checked. Checked. ICAS and info. ICAS and info is checked. Altimeters. Altimeters 1, CO13 with uh, a reading of 30 feet. Set across checked. 1013 set and cross checked. Center panel. Center panel is checked. Pedestal. Pedestal is. Checked. Rudder trim. Rudder trim is checked. Side sticks. Side sticks left checked. Right side checked. Oxygen masks. Uh, checked on the left. Right side checked. And door test. Is completed. Checklist completed. Perfect, thank you. Then we can do a quick brief. Yes. Super. Ground cockpit. Ground flight deck. Super, stand by a minute. So our new weight is 58.6. Uh, 58.6. I get take off to 79.5 and the speeds. Perfect, take off to exactly 79.5, yes. Uh, acceleration is 860. And uh, we've got the speeds with 135, 38 and 41, 41 set and um, got the accelerate stop distance, that's 2193. I got the same. Super, looks good. And um, yeah, we can brief. I am ready. Okay, perfect. So we've been cleared um, via the Beryl uh, 3 Echo Departure, runway 18 out of Riga. Takeoff 2, as just discovered, ambient conditions are set. Um, slat, uh, flap 2, the bleed source is on the engines and anti-ice is off. We've set the trim with 3.5 and uh, the speeds are set accordingly. Mm. So that's performance done. Um, we're then cleared via the Beryl 3 Echo Departure. Beryl 3 Echo out of runway 18 tells us to uh, climb straight ahead on runway track 178. Uh, we go up to uh, a distance of 3.8 miles. We have to have 2,000 feet there. Uh, that's all in the FMS. And then we make it a right turn in Mount Barrel. And uh, that's approximately uh, to uh, 04. Yep. Minimum sector altitude for the departure, 1,700 feet. And... Um, yeah, so that's all fine. The weather is good, the aircraft is fine. As previously discussed in the briefing, there are no items on the aircraft itself. And um, with that, we're absolutely perfectly set. Yeah, good. Then, uh, any more functions before 80 knots? 
we would uh, stop for just anything between Eddie Knots V1. We stopped just for uh, major malfunctions, any fire, fire warning, smoke, any pilot incapacitation, any th obstacle on the runway, anything which makes the aircraft unable or unsafe to fly. Whoever recognizes will call failure. I will call stop my controls. I'll bring the aircraft to a full stop, I'll set the parking brake. Um, I'll inform the cabin attention cabin crew at stations. You'll please inform the tower that we're stopping. And um, then we'll verify the situation, make a common decision on what to do and uh, execute accordingly and of course communicate to the cabin and the tower again. Yeah. Case of an engine failure, um, the engine failure is uh, based uh, solely on uh, a straight ahead and um, my suggestion is we climb to 2500 feet, get uh, either delay vectors or just proceed straight ahead for the holding. Yeah. Happy with that? I am happy. Super, then we can do a before start checklist please. Before start checklist, take off briefing. It's complete. APU external power. We've got the APU connected, external power is disconnected. And beacon is the next. Super, beacon is on, park break is set. Ground Air Baltic 7747, La Prida and Stand 109 request start up. Start up approved Air Baltic 7747. Ground. So we're fully ready now, and uh, we've been cleared for a start. Okay, so the pre-departure check is completed, all doors, panels and hatches are visually closed and secured. And everything is ready, and uh, engine number two is clear. Fine, we'll start as usual, engine number one first. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, so right. engine number one is clear. Thank you. Last item, the park break. Park break is set. Yeah. Checklist is completed and we're ready. Great. Then uh, start the left inch. Left inch on. There we are. Number one is good, starting number two. Engine number two is clear. Perfect, start the uh, right inch. Right inch on. Hydraulic tree, low pressure. That is expected. Ground, cockpit two, good starts. You may disconnect yourself, see if you have a clear signal somewhere on the front. You have a nice day, policy, I'm set up. Okay, have a nice flight then, just wait for my all clear signal. Now we can do the default taxi checklist. Before taxi, hydraulic three alpha. On. Hydraulic three bravo. On. Hydraulic two bravo. On. On the ice left car. Is uh, auto. On the ice wing. Yeah, we can set it to on and... Uh, I'll initiate the test. Yes. Super, we can continue. INTI is right down. Is auto. APU. APU off. Maps. Two selected. Flight controls. Flight controls. FMS performance that is expected. So the wing anti ice is uh, done. I'll go back to auto. That is checked. And next, no steer. Select it on. FMS. FMS is uh, set. Trims. Trims, one, two, green. ICAS info. ICAS and info is checked. And wing anti ice test. Is completed. Checklist completed. Super taxi anytime. Airbus 7747 request taxi. Baltic 7747, taxi to holding point runway 18, Fox Rock Golf. Fox Rock Golf, holding point runway 18, Air Baltic 7747. Taxi light narrow, please. Taxi light is narrow and right side is green.
Airport ready for Mako. Airbalic 747 ready for Mako. Well, again, 747, contain taxi, Fox Echo, holding 18. Continue taxi, Fox Echo, the holding point runner 18, Airbalic 7747. And cabin is ready. Super, that's good news. We can do that before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff, cabin. Is ready. INTI is left call. Is auto. INTI is wing. Auto. INTI is right call. Auto. Auto break. Is RTO. ICAS info. ICAS info checked. Checklist completed. Thank you. Hey, Walt again, 747. Expect to depart after two arrivals. And ready tower 1181 by. 1181 air Baltic 7747, that's copied. Hello. So. The tower air Baltic 7747, Alabrid, Technic Echo, and we are ready. Air Baltic 7747, Alabrid, Hold the phone, Echo, inbound traffic 3 miles. Hold that Echo, air Baltic 7747. Right, we have to hold that Echo, that's copied. Copy, that's right. Left side free. Uh, right, it's free. Line up is copied. Left side is still occupied. Right side is clear. Entering the runway. Lights and belts, please. Order throttles on. Are you ready? I am ready. All right. Super. Right. Off we go. Seven four seven, Labrid, passing one thousand one hundred on peril three echo. Labrid, seven seven four seven, Labrid, approach Labrid, contact level two eight zero. Flight flight two eight zero, Labrid, seven seven four seven. Set two eight zero, please. Flight level two eight zero, set. Thank you. V flight level change. And climb sequence. Direct box. Direct to box, air Baltic 7747. Direct box is copy, please set box on top. Direct box, air Baltic 
Contact to Poxo, confirm. Checked and executes. Executed. Excellent. Labs 1 selected. Thank you. Gold 35 Gold, speed 1604. Speed 1604, Gold And we are established, uh, Lopez 118, Gold 35 Gold. Gold 35 Gold, contact Tower 118, Gold. Tower 118, Gold 35 Gold. Bubble. After takeoff checklist. Please. I guess. Checked. After takeoff completed. Thank you. Autopilot is on. Okay. The fun part is over. 10,000. And uh, lights and belts, please. Lights off, belts out down. Are you warm enough, Lena? Should I turn it one up? You can do it, it's uh, okay for me. So one more time, welcome aboard uh, this Air Baltic flight uh, from Riga to Heraklion on the uh, Greek island of Crete. Um, we've reached our cruising uh, altitude. This is uh, 38,000 uh, feet uh, today. Um, we're cruising uh, currently at a ground speed of uh, 460 knots. Um, that is, uh, well, roughly 900 kilometers per hour. and. Um, yeah, we've ta been taking off uh, out of Riga, basically smooth conditions, the weather was actually really quite fine. Um, we've got 141 passengers on board, um, I guess they're enjoying their service at the moment, uh, receiving their first uh, meals and drinks, and um, while well, we're cruising currently over Poland, um, we uh, intend to uh, proceed on our routing. This is basically it, so we took uh, off uh, here in uh, Riga this morning and uh, then we're pro proceeding basically straight down uh, southbound. You can see Italy here, Greek, uh, Greece with uh, the island of Heraklion down here. And if you follow up the route, then uh, we've been crossing Lithuania, we're currently in the Polish airspace before we then get into uh, the uh, western part of the Ukraine. Uh, we'll continue down uh, to uh, Romania. Bulgaria before we get into Greece and uh, then uh, we uh, proceed in the Greek airspace down to the island of, uh, of Crete and um, basically in the center on the northern part on the northern coastline of uh, Crete um, that is actually where you have then the uh, uh, the uh, city of Reaklion and uh, to the uh, to the east of uh, the city itself that's where we have the uh, the airport we took off from uh, runway 18, ideal for us of course to uh, get a straight out uh, towards um, Heraklion and uh, runway 27 in use uh, there at the moment. We'll get of course a weather update as soon as we get a little bit closer and um, yeah, so we've still got a little bit of uh, time ahead. If you take a look here, the FMS announces nicely for us an, uh, an elapsed time of uh, still 2 hours and 35 uh, minutes to go. and. Um, We've got enough fuel for uh, a lot more. Nevertheless, um, here we here we are. We've been taking off 
with uh, a weight of uh, slightly more than 58 tonnes and uh, we uh, plan to land there of course with the fuel burn which we have of uh, 50, slightly more than 52 tonnes, so 52 and a half. The aircraft um, is brand new, um, this uh, um, tail, so uh, Charlie Sierra Charlie is the third one we have uh, in the armed fleet uh, within Air Baltic, it's just been joining um, two months ago and um, it has now 230 cycles with roughly 480 hours um, on the airframe so you can really smell the uh, that it is brand new it looks brand new it is brand new and it flies just fantastic we're more than happy here in the baltic uh, to have this opportunity to be the launch operator um, of the uh, CS-300. Uh, As I said, this is the third aircraft in our fleet. It is the third production aircraft. 55005, that's the production number. And as I said, it's a brand new aircraft so far. Passengers are very, very happy. They've got a little bit more space, uh, or actually massive more space in the cabin than uh, what they have been used to on uh, uh, rather the older types, like an, uh, an Airbus or uh, yeah, a Boeing. They are, of course, uh, how to say, even if they come out of the factory, they're all designs. This one has been a clean sheet design, brand new, and um, Bombardier has put a lot of effort into it uh, to design something which doesn't only satisfy the pilots, although that's the most important, um, but uh, it satisfies the uh, customers, of course, as well. Um, which is even more important and um, they find more space in the cabin they've got a wider aisle um, the middle seat we've got a seat configuration of two on the left side three seats on the right side and the middle seat on the right side is a little bit wider um, so overall the space and the uh, the experience for the passenger is um, a very very good one um, the aircraft has proven to be very very reliable we're very happy we haven't quite reached our target yet of 99% uh, uh, um, reliability um, but that has something to do of course that we're taking it easy with the entry into service um, but we're very very happy with the overall performance. The aircraft itself um, has um, exceeded our expectation and what Bombardier has um, actually promised us uh, when it comes to the performance. So the aircraft itself burns uh, roughly 21% less fuel um, than uh, uh, comparable models um, of the uh, other uh, manufacturers and um, that of course gives us a, uh, a very very big smile in our face uh, it's um, not only that uh, our operational costs look good with that we've got less fuel burn we put less emissions out which is very important and um, additionally to that uh, it's less noise overall the performance i could tell you so much about it it's uh, just uh, really something which makes us be very excited the aircraft is just really lovely to fly and it performs uh, equally as good yeah so um we still got a little bit of time to go two hours and 30 minutes uh, until we reach uh, Araclion. a little bit of time to go till the uh, till the descend as well um, so with that, um, I suggest uh, enjoy the rest of the flight so far and uh, we'll get back uh, to you with a little bit of information on the arrival itself um, once it's time for that. I've introduced myself already this morning. My name is uh, Gerhard, and uh, I'm uh, currently flying here on the uh, on the C series. I'm the uh, chief pilot on this uh, aircraft type uh, with Air Baltic. I've been with Air Baltic now for 12 years. Started up here in the company on the uh, 737, 
um, flew the Fokker 50 for a year and then uh, actually volunteered on the uh, introduction of the uh, Q400. Uh, Baltic has 12 Q400s, which it has been uh, flying now uh, or operating the fleet for roughly eight years, including the introduction. And um, I've had a good time on the Q400. Went uh, back to the 73 for a very short while before then uh, I uh, changed to the project of the C Series introduction. And I've been on it here now for a couple of years, um, preparing the type for its introduction into service with our Baltic. And yeah, we have uh, received uh, our first aircraft uh, last year. And um, with that, uh, we've got three aircraft. Uh, in service now here in our Baltic and I'm flying it since the very beginning. More than happy, had a lot of uh, interaction with the factory of course um, to prepare the in entry into service um, of this type. I've got roughly 7,000 hours now, spent a lot of time in the office, not always what you want as a pilot, um, but I've had an incredible time in the cockpit itself. And um, the flight deck work um, is of course what every pilot looks, uh, is looking forward to and this is just uh, a lot of fun. The Baltic itself um, has offered an incredible career opportunity to me. As I said, I'm the uh, chief pilot on this fleet now and I'm really enjoying life uh, as a pilot in general. Welcome to CS300. My name is Alice, I'm senior cabin crew on uh, this type of aircraft. So I will introduce a bit of CMS the cool features we have on a CS300. So please pay attention here. Very great thing for a cabin crew uh, to do is adjust and reduce the temperature in the cabin. It's very easy, just press on the system, go to the cabin temperature and reduce and, or add degrees how much you need. Another cool thing about this is if, for example, it's night flight and a passenger falls asleep and his reading light is still on, we can do it everything from the heel just to switch off his light. So, for each time of year, we have a special uh, lights for a cabin. For example, Christmas. We have a special scenario for Christmas. We just press on the cabin lights. There's a Christmas scenario and all the cabin uh, will be in green and uh, red lights, so like a Christmas tree. So I've given you a little bit of uh, an insight already what we're going to do today and where we're going and um, you had a little bit of an opportunity to see a couple of features uh, which we have here on the flight deck of the uh, CS300. Um, as a pilot, um, yeah, when you get onto this aircraft initially you can't get the grin out of your face because you realize that it's got just so many opportunities uh, and, uh, and features which are just excellent and where you say, okay, well I actually didn't even realize that doing my type training. And um, so we're still in the phase that we discover small little stuff, although we're now flying it for a couple of months, um, but it's of course not the major things. The major things we're very familiar with and as pilots we love it. Uh, within our Baltic we have uh, been flying two different types before, which was the Q400, um, a uh, twin turboprop, um, pretty modern, a uh, full glass cockpit, very uh, fast, a very fast turboprop, and the pilots just love it. Um, it hasn't got an auto throttle, it hasn't got an auto brake, and, um, but otherwise very modern features. And um, the other part of the pilots are coming from the 737, Within our Baltic, we only fly classics, so um, it is FS equipped, but it has not got a full uh, full glass cockpit. And um, initially, you find this um, uh, this reluctant uh, attitude of that the pilots say, "Ah, I'm actually quite happy with my type. I love it. Flies good. I've um, got a lot of features which I like." Here comes a brand new type, everything different, and so on. So mm, a little bit skeptical. Once they start their type training, they're just absolutely amazed what this aircraft has on offer. Now, as a pilot, of course, you want to have a you want to have a wheel in some way. This aircraft doesn't have a wheel anymore. 
Um, and first of all, that's disappointing. You have to get a used to the stick a little bit, um, but um, after a very, very short while, you just start to love it. It gives you a full view on the, uh, on the screens. Um, it doesn't take away anything where you need to look aside and uh, can't really find the points immediately. Um, so the ergonomics in the cockpit, in the fl on the flight deck itself, are excellently done and there's nothing really to wish for. Although Lena, that's actually not quite true, isn't it? We're missing two things. The voice controlled coffee machine and the massage function in our seats. Unfortunately missing, but we're working on it. Um, otherwise, um, the aircraft has really, really everything you could think of. Um, when Bombardier planned um, the, uh, the flight deck setup, um, they took a lot of information from uh, different um, uh, sources when it comes to piloting. Uh, very different aircraft type. All of these pilots got together and they were asked what do you like and what do you dislike on your previous aircraft type. They put that all together and, um, and the, the outcome of that is actually this flight deck. And um, with that it has been created in a way pilots really would like to see it. Um, the order throttle moves, so it gives us some uh, information not only on our on our settings on the screen. It gives us active information where the where the uh, throttles actually are, and um, where the power setting is in a in a in a relation to the uh, the, the throttles. Um, otherwise, the FMS, the screens itself have nothing to to spare. Um, we have just all the information we really need. The aircraft itself flies up to uh, 41,000 feet. Um, we're a little bit heavy today on our charter flight to Heraklion, so with that um, we are able to make it up to uh, 39,000 feet. That's our optimum and um, the, the max altitude for today. At the moment we're uh, flying up at uh, 38,000 feet, so we intend to climb in a very short while. Um, that is all dependent now on air traffic control. Mm. Yeah. What else to tell you? Um, I would like to tell you what I actually really miss, um, but as I said, it's just related to the coffee machine and the uh, massage function. Otherwise, we're really, really happy the way uh, Bombardier has uh, created this for us. Let's uh, brief. Uh, we haven't received the latest weather yet, um, as uh, Heraklion doesn't have a digital aider, so we can't get it via ACAS. Yeah. We have to wait for the voice coming in. That should be uh, soon. But we can brief our routing already. Um, so what we expect, uh, basically, and which is in the box, is the uh, the um, Tavis uh, One Alpha arrival via the transition via Gonzo for the runway uh, two seven. And that's what we have here. So we've got uh, chart 10-2. Uh, and um, we have uh, just seen that uh, from Savis we expect um, to proceed outbound of about five miles um, before we then turn right inbound um, to Gonzo, which is our initial approach fix. Gonzo is on the radio 053 at a distance of 12. And that's uh, coded accordingly. And um, then at Gonzo, um, we see that here as well, that we go inbound to Gonzo, runway 27. Um, at that time, we actually... Uh we do want to continue then uh, for the uh, final inbound of uh, runway 27. That's yep. uh, the chart 12-2. 
dash one for the iron off approach into runway 27 and we see our routing from Gonzo takes us initially to uh, India Romeo 402 yep. um, there we are India Romeo 402 3,000 feet or above is the coding there for us and um, we want to proceed then in a right turn to then uh, via India Romeo 401 to finally then uh, join the uh, final inbound of 271 and um, we are focusing on our descent out of 2300 feet and um, have to have 2000 feet in India Romeo um, 400 and that's all co coded accordingly in uh, our FMS routing so we'll use that um, for the uh, RNF GNSS into runway 27 should we have to proceed on a missed approach? Um, we, and here it is. Should we have to proceed on a missed approach? We would turn right, max 185 uh, initially, uh, before we then um, go directly to India Romeo 700, and um, which is on a right turn there. We would proceed to uh, to Gonzo, and uh, decision altitude 830 for the LNAF. Um, yep, good, so we can do that in a minute. Minimum sector altitude for us on the approach um, is basically, we come out of the 4,000 um, and then uh, for the missed approach we climb, we would basically be climbing in the 7,000, but we, we will continue into the 4,000 again. Yep. We expect an after naft transfer, of course. With that, we'll proceed on an FMS uh, routing for the missed approach. And um, I uh, intend to go for flaps four. We're still we're missing the final weather data, which we will uh, insert um, shortly, once we get the voice. And we'll post the speed accordingly. Weight will be uh, slightly below 53 tons. And uh, with that, we expect a final V-Ref of 133 approximately. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Runway is 2,700 uh, meters long. And um, 2,700 meters long. Um, auto brake is low for that one. And um, we expect to vacate then uh, somewhere um, Alpha is, is my assumption. Yeah. I don't really think that we should uh, rush for Bravo. And um, we're not aware of our parking stand yet, but um, of course coming from Alpha, we've got them all available here uh, yeah. directly in front of the terminal. Yeah. Okay, standard configuration uh, and uh, stabilization gate at a thousand feet. Yeah. And um, we go for standard speeds. We have seen that we've got a pretty steep um, uh, final approach, um, but it is uh, of 3.4, but yeah. that is fine with us. We will configure accordingly. Yeah, exactly. Super, any questions so far? We'll rebrief once we've got the weather and see the points we need to uh, more intensely discuss. Exactly. We can request descent. Yep. Baltic 7747, descend to flight level uh, Uh, radio very weak, but uh, on the ground we need uh, cleaning, toilet service, uh, water service, and uh, refueling. Okay, uh, refueling, water service, uh, and cleaning up our other. Copy. Can you tell us the stand? Number two, number two. Stand number two, Airbaltic 7747. Thank you, see you on ground. 
Okay, very weak, but I got it. Number two. Yeah. Did you get a stand number? Number two. Stand number two. Soap yourself out. 400 below the path, that's actually quite fine. Yep. We mark Gonzo already. It's very good that it's uh, such a clear day to see everything right in front. Yeah. Baltic 7747, come back to Raglio. 123975, goodbye. 123975, Air Baltic 7747, bye. Euroclean, Air Baltic 7747, good morning. Sea setting flight level 130, information mic. Hello, Air Baltic 7747 to Gonzo. Descent altitude 5000 feet, QNH 1015, number 2. Continue to Gonzo, descent altitude 5000 feet, QNH 1015, and this number 2, Air Baltic 7747. Mic is confirmed, 7747. Mic on board, Air Baltic 7747. What was the last one? Mic. Information mic. Yeah, super. 51015 is set. 51015 checked. Kevin is ready. Checked. Maybe you could ask him if he wants any speed below 10,000. Yep. Air Baltic 7747, any speed restriction below flight level 100. Affirmative, ma'am. 240 knots. Keeping 240 below flight level 100, Air Baltic 7747. 240. 240 below 100? Yep. Okay. 240, pre selected, flight level change. Check. Okay. Pass. And that is checked. And 10,000 lights and belts. Lights on, lights on. That's great. I'll pre select 220. Checked. Air Baltic 7747, I guess uh, you didn't declare uh, enable Arnav, so you are able for Arnav approach, confirm? Confirm, Air Baltic 7747. Okay, Air Baltic 7747, continue your descent to altitude 3000 feet, clear the Arnav approach, runway 27. Descent uh, 3000 feet, clear there, now approach runway uh, 27, Air Baltic 7747. 3000 is set. And we're clear for the INF approach. Right. Super. It seems that Estonia tourists are coming here as well. <laughs> yeah, why? Tallink. Tallink, yeah. yeah. the approach basically. Yep. So that's done. Approach FMS1. Unchecked. Yes. Heracle approach, Calimera. Uh, Heracle 40, Bravo. Passing level 112, climbing level 150. Calimera, Calimera, so sorry, Bravo. Radar, Pafi. First of all, you put in F follow, the bit of a man direct. Το έχω στο τηλέφωνο να το ζητήσω τώρα. Fielder's cap. Checked. 
And we are cleared approach. I assume we can go to 2300. Yes. Bravo, top pyramid. Carpathos direct. Super. That's one selected. Baltic 7747 on their nav approach now. Number one, contact tower 120, decimal 850, Calimera. 120, Air Baltic 7747, Calimera. VLS cap and VGP is on. 2500. Speed. Check. Tower Air Baltic 7747, hello, one point, runway 27. Reach at 1 kilo, Victor, vacate left. And, uh, to the left with the follow me card to each at one kilo victor. Lap two, please. Lap two selected. And BGP? Checked. Airbatic 7747, hello, continue approach. Number one. Continue approach, number one, Airbatic 7747. Power, Airlinear 700, holding point of runway to seven. Hello again, L700. Behind the landing aircraft, line up and wait on way to 7. Behind. Behind the uh, landing aircraft, uh, line up and uh, wait. Uh, behind, L700. And landing sequence. Air Baltic 7747, wind 320 degrees 12 knots, runway to 7, clear to land. Clear to land, Clear land is copied. File speed 133 has been ref. Checked and flaps 4 are selected. Just connect auto the auto throttle. throttle. Auto throttle. And uh, ready for uh, before landing. Ready for. Altimeters. Altimeters are set with uh, 1015, passing 1140, set and cross checked. 1015, set cross checked, flaps. Flaps are four indicating. Cabin. Is ready. Plus hundred. And checklist completed. We are I've stabilized. I've contact. Disconnecting the autopilot. Yeah. Minimum.
Sydney at 700, contact with Aklun later on 123975. Bye-bye. 3975, here at there. Right, clear the street. Thank you. Stand two, but yeah. I take the taxi light off. Yes, please. Russia five uh, seven eight six wind three zero zero degrees one three not sun with seven clear takeoff. Uh, taking off. Your Delta Mike five seven eight six wind got it. Bye. Bye. One two three nine seven five one zero one. Oh, one two three nine seven five at airborne. Here's the other mic. Uh, five seven eight six. And the shutdown checklist, please. Shutdown. No steer. No steer. He is off. APU external power. APU is on external power. I guess we'll get a little later. Left into run. Yeah, we've got the calling time recognized. Left engine run. Right engine run. Right engine run off. Passenger side. Off. Beacon. Off. Hydraulic 3 Alpha. Is off. Hydraulic 3 Bravo. Off. Hydraulic 2 Bravo. Off. And anti ice wing. Anti ice wing is off. Checklist completed. Super. Exactly, of course you don't want it. I mean, 2700 is comfortable, yeah. but uh, you don't really want to extend it there and uh, flare too long and too early. Yeah, exactly. Now we've set up the fuel panel, nine tons is what we want to take for the flight back. Fuel truck has just arrived, he's connected already himself, but um, the aircraft is of course brand new, so it's always the question how to set up the fueling panel, and they always love us pilots to do that ourselves, so that nothing goes wrong. I put nine tons in there, you can nicely please select that, refueling is automatically, and the fuel system distributes uh, itself how much to put into the wing tanks, how much to put into the center tank. So this is one of our big uh, one of our big engines. You should not really turn it too much. It's got a huge bypass ratio as you see the uh, the, the core of the engine is in relation to the to the entire size, huge. Um, yeah, the bypass ratio is one of the uh, special elements on this engine. 